decimals to fractions. The way this is going to work start, starting off is that I'm going to show you a worked example and then you're going to have your opportunity to have a go at a similar exam, a similar question. OK, um, if you're enjoying my videos, I'll just remind you to subscribe. OK, if you haven't already. So worked example, convert to a fraction in its simplest form. Now, my top tip here is that you will look for how many decimal places are in this decimal. And in this decimal, I can see one decimal place. So I know that I'm going to have one zero on the bottom in my denominator is 10. OK, on this one, there's two decimal places and therefore there's going to be two zeros in my desk, in my denominator to make it 100. And then in this one, you guessed it, there's three decimal places. And so it's going to be 1000. OK, now I'm looking for any numbers in the decimal places um, that, you know, after the first zero are not zero. So in this one, it's eight. It's got eight there. I've just got eight there. And then I've got 85 there, 85, OK? And once we've done that, we've converted it into a fraction. But we haven't quite finished because it does ask us for its, to put it in its simplest form. So in this case, I think we quit that, you know, it's only got one, um, you know, the, the highest common factor here is two. So it'd be four fifths, OK? In this one, I think the highest common factor is actually four. Um, so it will be 2 over 25, or I could do it in stages, I could say it's 4 50 so I could keep halving it because it's even numbers, and it gets 2 over 25. And in this one, here's a top tip, um, if you've got sort of a multiple of 5 on top, often 5 is the highest common factor, not always of course, but a lot of the time. Um, so here, how many 5s go into 85? It's, oh, let's think about this, 17, isn't it? And then how many fives go into 1,000? It's 200. Okay. All right. So feel free to pause the video if you'd like to have a go independently at your turn. Um, and I'll be revealing the answers in a second. Okay. So I'm going to reveal the answers. Okay. Hopefully you've had a really good go at those based on my worked example and been really successful. Here are the answers. Okay. Let's go and have a look at some more practice. Um, so let's work through these together. Um, this one, we've got one decimal place. It's out of 10. It's a 6 out of 10. I'm going to cancel that straight down to 3 fifths. Here I've got out of 100. It's two decimal places, 6 on top. That's got to be 3 fiftieths. OK, um, I'll highlight these as well. Okay, so there's two answers so far. I'll highlight them all at the end. It's probably quicker. 66 over 10. Uh, sorry, out of 100, that doesn't look right, 100, apologies, uh, which is equal to 33 50ths, cannot go any further than that. 65 over 100 here, uh, that would be 13 20ths. What's this one then? 56 hundredths. Uh, so I'm going to do this in stages, they're both even. I think I can get it down to 14 25ths. Can't go any further than that, there's no common factors. Uh, this one would be 55 hundredths. Again, it's a multiple of 5 up here. Uh, it's going to be 11 twentieths. And this last one, 6 over 1,000. Uh, it's three decimal places, so it's 1,000. And I think that's going to be 3 five hundredths. 3 is a prime number. Can't go any further. So I hope that's nice and clear. I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it. There's lots more to come. Okay, have a good day.